It was on his way back from Europe that President Truman announced to an astonished world that an entirely new force had now come under Anglo-American control. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. The force from which the sun draws its power has been loosed against those who brought war to the Far East. For obvious reasons of physical security, production had been affected in the States. Two of the three factories were at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Work had gone on secretly for two years at this place under the direction of British and American scientists. When the news of their success burst on the world, the shock was as violent as the bomb itself, and the potentialities even more shattering. Thousands were employed in the factories without knowing what they were making. A diagram illustrates the uranium atom, the electrons circling the nucleus, the sitting of the atom, and the release of stupendous energy. It's not the knowledge of this colossal force that is new, but the power to control it. And that raises the biggest query as to the world's future. Hiroshima got one small atomic bomb, and 60% of it was wiped out. The bursting of the experimental bomb in New Mexico was filmed. Here it comes. The camera was six miles away when that picture was taken, so the sound was delayed, of course. Smoke clouds rose to 40,000 feet. Will this power, now available to man, bring another, even more suicidal war upon us? Or can it be made to rule out war and open a new progressive chapter of history, the atomic age? Those seem to be the alternatives. <laughs>